Hey everyone, I'm Jessica and on my channel I like to vlog about being a blended family. If you love to see vlogs, routine videos, or just blended family and co-parenting videos in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave any questions down below. I answer every single comment. In today's video, we are setting up for Lily's 10th birthday. I cannot believe it's been a decade. And we are getting ready for Easter. I will explain later on why we changed the date of Easter for Lily, uh, but we're setting up with our Easter baskets. So stick around to the end and make sure you pay attention to the little details. <laughs> okay guys, so it is Friday the third. Lily's birthday is tomorrow, so we got lots to do. He's eating a cheese stick. We just got dressed. You happy today? No, because I stole all his binkies. Yeah, you're not happy. I hit all his binkies, so now he can't. He can't just grab one out of the drawer and put it in his mouth. So, like I said, we are going to be busy today. I have to put together the kids Easter baskets, which I'll talk about I'll talk about later why we're changing the date for Easter for her. And then we also need to decorate the house because Lily's birthday is tomorrow, like I said. So I'm really excited. We are not gonna go crazy because I mean, obviously no one's gonna be over here, but I still wanna do a little something for her because you only turn 10 once, that's so exciting. And hopefully, like I said in my last vlog, that we will still be able to go to Disney because that is her birthday present. Like a family trip to Disney, it's more for her than anybody else because he can't really enjoy anything. He won't even be two by the time that happens. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. And I wanna show you guys my new computer. I got it, I'm so excited. If you follow me on Instagram, I am beyond excited. So we're outside and we're playing with bubbles if you hear the machine and he's playing with his balls and throwing it around and popping some bubbles and stuff like that. Sorry, they're in my face. <laughs> no. Uh, he just was getting stir crazy and he needed to go outside so I'm just gonna sit out, here, sit out here for a little bit and enjoy the fresh air with him. It's now lunchtime and he's already, you know, got all that food in his mouth. If you guys want to see like what he eats in a day, please leave a comment down below and I will do a video like that. Also, I wanted to say that this is like the easiest things I've ever made. If you've ever been to the frozen section, the bird's eye like pastas and rices, Ollie loves them. I just stick them in the microwave for five minutes and then cool them off. He eats them. Easy. And he's got some applesauce on the side. Is it good? After this, I'm gonna clean him up. We're gonna go upstairs, take a nap, and that's when the true video starts. Let me eat lunch and then get him ready for bed. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep at night. I'm on a mess. It's boring. A million thousand demons surrounding me. You picking up fight. It's toxic. You were the best I ever had. Good job. Put the next one on. Good job. The next one. Oh, take it off. Okay. Good job. So we've been working on motor skills, putting blocks on blocks and these things on tap, stacking these. And when he does something, I pretty much say what he's doing with the action. You shaking that? Just so he starts to pick up on words and like he knows what he's doing. So that's what we're doing right now. It is 
10.45, he's not yet ready to go down, but I think his teeth are bothering him, so I did let him have a banky. He didn't really eat much of his lunch. He basically just threw it, but I just showed you guys me cleaning up. And this is an every meal thing. I have to clean up his high chair. I have to clean up the floor. I have to take care of the dishes. It is tedious. I am like tired of cleaning up. The world of toddlerhood. <laughs> also, I wanna know if you guys like actually clean up their toys like in between them playing because he just throws, you see it throws everything everywhere. He doesn't play with it, he just throws it. So I wanna know if you guys like, clean in between sessions or you make them clean, clean up something before they touch something else. Like let me know in the comments down below. All right, so the tricky man is now asleep. I need to get stuff done. The house is a hot mess. I really need to clean for one, like I've been saying. I need to get the Easter baskets ready and I need to get Lily's birthday decorations all set up. So, who's with me? Are you ready for like this power hour of cleaning and getting crap done because it's about to happen? I am exhausted, but let's do this. Kitty. <laughs> decorate for Lily's birthday. The lighting's a bit weird because there's a balloon in the way. Uh, but I'm gonna hurry up and do the kids' Easter baskets and it's nothing crazy, it's literally just candy. Yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> also, Lily's with her dad on Easter, so like I said at the beginning of the video, since she was little, we basically have changed the date of holidays and made everything special for her also here. So if she was at her dad's for Christmas, we would say that Santa came early so she could get her gifts at my house before Christmas so she didn't have to wait. Or just like Easter, we always say that the Easter bunny showed up early, she can have her Easter presents early. Last year we had both kids on Easter so she was able to enjoy the holiday with her brother. But this year, we're just gonna do them both at the same time. I don't know how many more years I have until Lily doesn't believe in these things anymore. So I'm trying to cherish it as much as I can. So if I have to just switch it around a couple days, it's not that big of a deal to me. But I don't know how Anthony feels. I asked him if we could change the date of Easter and he said that's fine. I don't think Easter is like that big of a deal, but like, whereas Christmas, he might mind. So yeah. I'm just gonna fill these up real quick. Uh, again, I just had candy. I also wanted to show you guys like the kids Easter basket. Lily's had this forever. I don't even know where it came from. She's had this since she was really young. This is her Easter basket. And then if you don't follow me from last year, this is Ollie's. I got this from Target, it was about $20. I'm not sure if they have the same one. If not, they have cool characters there all the time. So I'm just gonna fill them up. I also will leave a link to last year's Easter baskets, which were a lot better. I did so much better last year. So like I said, it's just candy. So here's the kids' Easter baskets. That's some kind Chucky Man is up from a nap. 
I finished the Easter baskets. I cleaned up. I charged my camera because it really needed to be charged. And now we're just relaxing. I'm watching some YouTube because I just need, I need a minute. He's just, he did not sleep well at all. He was up three times in a two hour nap. I had to go up there three times and rock him back to sleep. I don't know how I got anything done. It's currently two o'clock. Anthony said about an hour and a half ago that he was almost finished his route. So he'll be home in six hours. Cause that's how that works. Um, are you eating grapes? I cut up some grapes and he's eating a snack. Yes. You do it. Good job. <laughs> Good job. His hair is crazy. It's always crazy. He needs a haircut, but we can't get it until the quarantine's over. Yes. Yes. Pound it. Yeah. Pound it. Whoop. Good job. Those are his awesome new skills. Mama's doing a thing. Still can't get him to sleep in his own crib, but. She's doing a thing. <laughs> this is what today is like. I'm having just like the worst day ever. You're just being so bad. What is your problem? I have started there because every time I sit down, he just does this. It's almost three o'clock, so we'll just have an early dinner like we usually do. Cause he eats around four, four thirty anyways. Buddy, stop! <laughs> Is tantrum starting? Because he's throwing a tantrum. We're having steak, red potatoes, and asparagus. He doesn't eat asparagus, so I'll just make him something else on the side. But, um... This is it, red potatoes. I have olive oil on them, some Italian seasoning, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. And here's the steak. I'm gonna fry that up in some butter and seasoning in a skillet and then it'll be done, but that takes like 10 to 15 minutes, that's easy. I just have to stick this in for at least an hour to let them get all nice and roasted, and then dinner is done. And let's hope to God that Anthony's home by then because it's almost three o'clock and he still isn't home. Lies. Are you still having a mental breakdown or are you good? I think he's good. Anthony's home, I started the steak. Here it is, all in its glory. I've got butter, garlic, some seasoning sprinkled in there. I have mushrooms on the side that I'm gonna fry up after this. There is daddy and baby. Say hi. Hello. His socks are on that table over there. He's gonna take the chunky guy outside for a little bit and I'm gonna finish dinner. He also brought home um, Boston Market, which his company keeps giving him in return for work in quarantine. So, I don't know what we're gonna eat, either one. Throw it. Good job. Oh, you gonna catch it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. You having fun with that? You having... Yeah? Whoa. So we've decided to just have the Boston Market and we will save that for lunch for tomorrow, so. 
That's what we're gonna be doing, eating some dinner. And then we're gonna go pick up Lily at five. Welcome home, Lily. Lily is going to be 10 tomorrow. Oh my Hi god. Dad. How's it feel? Great. To be almost a 10 year old, a preteen in the world of quarantine. That would be a cool comic book. <laughs> Okay guys, so it is now like 5 o'clock. Lily has seen her decorations. I am exhausted because the baby, you've seen, he's just been a hot mess all day. So I am going to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more vlogs, make sure you subscribe down below. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part was. I'm always looking to improve my content for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with another video.